got the belt of truth. Put on my boots, gotta tell the good news. The armor of God and the shield of faith. Got my sword and my helmet, now it's time to pray. Things first, you got the bell to truth. Ayo, ayo. Put on my boots, I gotta tell the good news. Ayo, ayo. The armor of God and the shield of faith. Ayo, ayo. Got my sword and my helmet, now it's time to pray. Ayo, ayo. Put on the full armor of God, stand strong against the evil one. Put on. We can stand, stand, stand against every evil plan, plan, plan. Now it's time to be strong, strong, strong. He has won. I put on the full armor of God, stand strong against the evil one. I put on the full armor of God, the full armor of God. I put on the full armor of God, stand strong against the evil one. I put on. From the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. What can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus? What can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus? Nothing, nothing. From the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. What can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus? Nothing, nothing. Then conquer us through him who loved us, through him who loved us, we are more, more, more. Then conquer us through him who loved us, through him who loved us. Here we go. What can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus? What can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus? What can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus? Nothing, nothing.
everyone, Joe Miller here coming to you live each and every day as I take to the streets to give you all the deets. Guys, I am so excited today because we are going to meet someone with some serious animal instincts. I can't wait to show you how he puts his everyday armor to use. He's amazing. Austin's his name and animals are his game. Let's go. Austin, hey, how are you? Hi, Joe. It's so good to see you. I'm glad that you could come out and visit today. Okay, okay, I can't even. Please introduce us to this little guy. Oh, this is Calvin. Ooh. He's one of my favorites here at the shelter, and he's about to go to his forever home. Well, what an exciting day for Calvin. Austin, can you tell us a little more about what you do here at the shelter? Oh, for sure I can. I love working at the shelter. It's my favorite place to be. Animals come to us, and our job is to get them ready to be adopted. Well, to see one of these furry friends get new homes has to be the most fun. It is. You know, some of our friends are feeling a little rough when they arrive. They may be hurt or have medical issues that we need to address. Oh, no. Well, I am so glad they have a place to come so that they can get better. It's the leash I could do. Well, here, check out this transformation. Sparky showed up feeling really bad. He not only needed a home, but also some medicine and time to get well. Oh, look at Sparky. He is just the cutest. The great news about Sparky is that it only took a few days, and he was back to his spunky self, ready to get adopted and have a woof over his head. Well, Calvin, Sparky, I can totally see why you love to work here. So Austin, I really want to know, what piece of God's armor helps you the most here at the shelter? Oh, without a doubt, it would have to be the helmet of salvation. Our goal at the shelter is to get every animal into a great home. And whenever one of these little guys gets adopted into a family, it just reminds me so much of God's love and how we are a part of His family. Oh, man, Austin, that is so good. It is. See, nothing can separate us from God's love. And the Helmet of Salvation reminds me of that. And when you use the Helmet of Salvation, it helps defend against thoughts that can get up in there and make us doubt God's love. Exactly. You know, the best part about the Helmet of Salvation is that it's a reminder that once we're saved, we're always saved. And nothing can take that away from us. No matter what, we belong to Jesus. Nothing can separate us from God's love, and we are forever a part of His family. Well, hot dog! I love how you're able to use the Helmet of Salvation working here. What a great reminder. It sure is. Well, thanks for coming to visit, Joe. It was so fun, Austin, and very nice to meet you, Calvin. <laughs> okay, guys, make sure you join us next time for Joe on the Go. I can't wait to see who we will meet next.
Even though you can't see it, there's a spiritual battle taking place between God and the devil over the hearts of each person on earth. Since the beginning of time, God has been fighting for people to know who he is and how much he loves them. God knew that sometimes we would doubt his love, and he also knew that the devil would try to make us think God doesn't love us. So God gave us a piece of armor to protect our minds and help us remember the truth about his love. God wants us to live every day knowing that he loves us. He sent Jesus to earth to show us that love. One day, Jesus was visiting a town in Israel called Cana. There was a royal official whose son was sick in a nearby town. The official heard that Jesus was in Cana, so he went to Jesus and begged him to heal his son because he was about to die. Jesus told the official he could go back home because the boy was going to live. As the official left Jesus, he could have doubted if Jesus had really saved his son from dying. But instead, he believed what Jesus said and that Jesus loved him and his boy. As the official was on his way home, some of his servants ran to meet him on the road with some very good news. His son was alive and doing well. The official found out that it all happened at the exact minute Jesus said his son would live. Just like the official believed that Jesus could save his son from death, we can believe that Jesus can save us too. We are saved when we believe that Jesus died on the cross, took the punishment for our sins, and came back to life. Jesus' love saves us from receiving the punishment we deserve for the wrong things we do, and it gives us the promise of heaven with him one day. This promise of salvation is forever and can never be taken away. There's nothing in all of creation, nothing too great and nothing too evil, that can change how much God loves us. The helmet of salvation will help us remember this every day. We can put on the helmet of salvation. Every day, I will wear the full armor of God. I put on the belt of truth so I can fight the devil's lies. I put on the armor of godliness to protect my heart and do what's right. I put on the good news boots so I'll be ready to show God's love all day. I hold up the shield of faith to block anything the enemy sends my way. I put on the helmet of salvation so I'll remember God will always love me. I use the sword of the Spirit because God's word is my best weapon against the enemy. Now I stand firm and pray. Guess what? God loves you and wants to be your friend. John 3.16 says, God loved the people of this world so much that he gave his only son so that everyone who has faith in him will have eternal life and never really die. You can't be friends with God because of your sin. Ecclesiastes 7.20 says, Not a single person on earth is always good and never sins. What is sin? Sin is doing or thinking something that God says is wrong. God made a way for you to be his friend. He sent Jesus from heaven to earth to take the punishment for all of your sin. Just knowing about Jesus is not enough to fix your friendship with God. You need to admit you have done wrong things and you are truly sorry. Believe in your heart that Jesus died for you and that God brought him back to life and commit to following Jesus as the leader and Lord of your life forever. Wow, that was great. Boys and girls, if you prayed that prayer or you invited Jesus Christ in life, that's fantastic. 
you know, one of the best things we can do is to receive Jesus Christ and all that he's done for us. And as we go on about the armor of God, it's important that we understand and listen and grow to the Spirit of God who's always teaching us. So let me pray with you right now, okay? God bless you. Father, I thank you for the boys and girls that are listening to these to these uh, lessons, cause their faith to grow, build them up in the things of God. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' name, amen. Hey, listen, that's awesome. Good job, everybody. I want to encourage you to go to the activities page and take part of our activities that we have for you on the armor of God. God bless you, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.